Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more configuration things that I forgot, which I think is really useful. Uh, so the first is VTX configuration. So I want the VTX to be controlled by the flight controller. And so what I'm going to do is uh, make sure that's configured on uh, my transmitter to start with. So I'm going to crossfire configure. You can't really see the menu, but if I go to crossfire configure and select the TX and then go to video control, I need to make sure the VTX control is set to RX rather than TX. And it is online, so that's perfect. And then in mission planner, I'm going to set VTX enable to one, and this allows me to control the VTX from the flight controller. I'm just going to disconnect and reconnect so I get all the VTX parameters. There we go. And then I'm just going to check on my radio transmitter. I've got the this wheel here. And this wheel is radio 11. So what I'm going to do is set radio 11, RC 11, to 94, which is VTX power. And then finally, I'm going to set RC options. And I'm going to add pass through because I've got the Yapu widget installed. And I write that out. And should now be getting ERP telemetry. So um, uh, I don't know whether you can see on the the VTX. You see it's flashing now in pit mode. And if I wheel the wheel, it will go. It goes to full power. And then I wheel it down again, and it flashes into pit mode again. So the CRSF control is working, and you can hear it buzzing away with. Uh, um, the RP telemetry, so that's all working now. Uh, nice that that's going, and very nice that I don't have to upgrade the VTX firmware to get that to work.